I'm Mr. Banana Head. Hey, Squishy fans, would you like a bite of cheese? What is inside Dr. Squish's favorite squishy? Hi guys, Dr. Squish here. Today I am cutting up more squishy toys for you and everything on my table today is food or food related except for one thing, so we're gonna do that right off the bat. I did some giant jumbo Orbeez in the egg slicer a couple of videos back and you guys all like that a lot and I gotta tell you what, this was one of my favorite things to do ever. So I got a couple more gigantic jumbo Orbeez and I am gonna slice them up in the egg slicer. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Cutting up the Orbeez with the egg slicer. I love this big yellow Orbeez. It kinda looks like an egg. Are you guys ready? Oh, so awesome! He cut that little yellow Orbeez egg just perfectly. You can almost barely tell it cut it. Oh, look at that! It's still like almost perfect. And there we go. That is so cool. Perfect little Orbeez slices for your Orbeez salad. I have one more awesome Orbeez. Oh my goodness. You guys look how big this awesome Orbeez is. It's like a monster Orbeez. This guy is huge. All right, everybody, are you ready to see me slice this big orange Orbeez? It kind of looks like a Dragon Ball. Okay. Dr. Squish is having trouble with this guy, so I'm gonna pick up the whole egg slicer and Whoa! I'm gonna actually do like I did before and try to turn it around the other way. Here we go. <laughs> Look at all those perfect Orby slices. It's like the egg slicer was made for Orbeez. On my table, we have got so many cool things, but I'm gonna look at this banana. And I have cut up banana on the show before, but this one is special. It's got a ball chain to hang it from your keys, but look, it's got a little present and it looks like it's already been peeled. You wanna know why? Ah! <laughs> hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mr. Banana Head. That's so funny. I could not resist this squeeze toy when I found it. Woo! <laughs> He's awesome. Now the thing about him is this bottom part down here is squishy, but I think that's full of air so that when you squeeze it, he'll just pop out. And he is actually a little bit squishy himself. I love this, it's not too stretchy, but who wants to see what's in Mr. Banana? Me, me, oh me, I want I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. Okay, here we, oh there we go. Oh yep, it was just air, I felt it all come whoosh -ing out. I'm gonna cut up the peel like this so we can look inside. <gasps> There's nothing in there. And then we are gonna get Mr. Squishy Banana Pants out of there. Are you ready? Let's open him like a little present. Hello! <laughs> look at Mr. Banana in there. It's like he was a little half a banana and he was just kind of glued. That's kind of ingenious. It's like a little banana trampoline. <laughs> I kind of like him though. He's such a cute little Mr. Banana Face, so happy. Okay, what's next on my table? I can't stop looking at these grapes. Oh, I think this is one of the best squeeze toys I have ever gotten. Oh, it's so, so soft, guys. And it's super stretchy, and it's just full of squishy, Orbeez in there, little water balls or jelly balls or whatever you may call them. They make this in purple and green. I got both of them because I want to try something with the green one. So today we're going to cut up this purple Orbeez stress ball, great little adorable great thingy, great toy thingy. I love it! Three, two, one. I don't feel any liquid coming out, so maybe not too much water. Oh, there they come. Ah, look at all the Orbeez. It's definitely just a bunch of purple Orbeez in there. Woo, and we still just have the grapes. Maybe I could fix it and make another squeeze toy. Now I just have an Orbeez salad. 
it's delicious. They feel really soft. No wonder that was super fun to play with. What is next on my table? I am gonna cut up these. I have a whole handful. These are squishy puddings and they are made to look like little charms but they are actually little puddings. These are so cute. It says this is a mini mini pudding pudding. So a mini mini squishy pudding. And this is the uh, just regular pudding flavor. It looks a lot like flan. If that's something else you might know what that is but it actually looks like a real cup of pudding that you would do out on a plate. Just like that. Let's see if it wobbles. There we go. Oh, here we go, guys. <gasps> How cool is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, look. Oh, it's so soft. <gasps> oh, wow. It looks exactly like a perfect little mini pudding. Let me get it off that paper. Look at my little mini pudding. I wish I had a mini little spoon to eat it in my face with. Oh, I love it. It's super sticky, guys. See, I mean, it just stays right there. It's not going it. Well, it did go somewhere. It's not really supposed to go anywhere. It's sticky. If you watch my poop show, it's kind of as sticky as that yellow poop was that I cut open. Ah, oh, that's so fun. So I think, based off the yellow poop, it's probably just going to be this rubbery stuff all the way through. But I actually got five of these. This one is Ichigo. This one is strawberry flavored pudding. This one is choco chocolate flavored pudding. This one is milk. Miruku, this is milk flavored pudding. And this one is mango, mango pudding. So cute they all are. So let's cut up a couple of these. I don't think there's any reason for me to cut up all five of them. Maybe Dr. Squish can actually keep one. Woohoo! I bet Little Squish would like that. Okay, so let's cut up this pudding and see what's in it. Ready? Snip, snip, snip. <gasps> I was totally right, guys. It's exactly like that poop was. It's just shiny on the inside. It's the same all the way through. That's what makes it so squishy. What do you think, Good Day, Tama? That just kind of looked like you back there, didn't it? Yeah, pretty much. All right, you guys. I am gonna cut up maybe another one or two of these. I think I wanna do the mango pudding. Mango pudding sounds delicious. Whoa, look at this mango pudding. Whoa, that is super cool too. Oh, it's kinda stuck on itself. <gasps> it looks really realistic. That looks a lot like a little mango pudding would look. Woo! Oh, whoa, look how much it stretches. We already know what's in it, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna cut it up. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's super cool. I like these. Even when you cut them up, they're still super fun to play with. Now I just have twice the fun. I think I can just put it right back together. Just like that. I'm definitely going to keep this pink one because pink is Little Squish's favorite color, this little strawberry pudding. I don't really have a reason to cut up all of them. I got all of them from the series, uh, but obviously they're all the same thing inside. So I'm gonna keep these. Um, I may figure out something else to do with them later on. I'll let Little Squish have the other one. Okay. All right, so far so awesome. So next up I am gonna do this. This is one of my favorite squishies I have ever gotten. This is cheese. This is nobi nobi cheese. Nobi do means it's stretchy. Yeah. I love this cheese. This was actually in a crane game as well, but this one has lost its wrapper. It used to have like a cheese wrapper that told what it was, but it's... It's gone, sadly. Aww. But it looks exactly like brie cheese. Do you guys know brie cheese? Brie cheese is delicious. Yum. So I don't even want to cut this up because honestly, if you put this on a plate, people would be like, mm, delicious cheese, I would like to have some. But this one is super duper stretchy because that's what it's meant for. Are you guys ready to see what's inside my cheese? What if it was cheese in the side of the cheese? Would that be the best thing ever? It's like cheese inception. I want cheese in the cheese. So let's get to cutting this one up. I want to just cut the top off like you do with real brie cheese. Are you ready? Whoa. Hey, squishy fans. Would you like a bite of cheese? Oh, guys, this really does look like cheese. <laughs> look, 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 look. It's like really melty, squishy cheese. I like this stuff. Oh, it's so sticky. Sometimes this stuff comes out nicely. 
Sometimes it is super messy and sticky. Oh my gosh, it's sticking to itself and won't come out of the squishy toy. Oh my goodness, what a mess. This is crazy, oh no guys. This, it's no wonder it was so stretchy. This stuff is fun to play with, but this one, it's like it's ruined. It's so sticky. I think Dr. Squish is gonna have to go wash her hands before we continue because this stuff is everywhere. Oh, I have cheese all over my hands. That is such a disaster right there. I did not think that when I opened that, it was gonna be everywhere. Guys, usually the more you play with this stuff, the less sticky it gets. That is not happening today. It's just disgusting. Oh guys, I've been dying to see what was in that cheese and this may be saying a lot, but that cheese may be my messiest squishy yet. That's that's saying a lot, but that was some sticky stuff trying to get that off of there. Ew. All right, I am particularly excited about what is last. Oh, it's under my fingernails. Oh, I have this peach. The reason I've got two, I will show you in a second. This peach is beautiful and it's glorious and I love it so much. But you see I have two back there. The reason is this is Little Squish's peach. I got this peach about two years ago. This was probably our very first squishy toy. I won this guy out of a claw machine. You know Dr. Squish loves a claw machine. And Little Squish likes to squeeze on this when she does her homework and stuff like that. So I have had this one for two years and Little Squish has really loved it. Here's the thing you guys won't believe. This peach is the exact same as this peach. You can see it's been well loved. The leaf has been torn off. It's just glued on here and so it eventually came off. And when we got this peach, it looked exactly like this. It had the pretty pink, reddish uh, paint on here. And over the years, it has just come off, like rubbed off. And this one is super soft, like super duper soft. Like they've put uh, cornstarch or baby powder to make it not sticky. This one is actually sticky. So whatever it was has all come off. We have loved this thing so much and we've always wanted to know what's inside. So, Dr. Squish found another one. We love this peach. It's not an eye bloom peach. Um, the eye bloom peaches are actually like foam squishies, I believe, and they actually are really bigger. But this one I prefer because it is full of something squishy. Even of all the squishies Dr. Squish has cut up, this one is my favorite and we've had it for so long and it's just my favorite squishy ever. It's so soft and the outside's so soft and it's so nice. What is inside Dr. Squish's favorite squishy? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh! Oh no! Oh my gosh. Well, let's get my bowl. Ooh, that looks wrong. Oh, it looks not okay. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, such a beautiful thing turns so disgusting. Ugh. But you guys thought it looked like mashed potatoes, and I think you're right. It does look a lot like mashed potatoes. It kind of feels like mashed potatoes. Who wants to eat some? Mmm, delicious. Maybe it is mashed potatoes. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to cut open Little Squish's peach. I'm glad to know what's in there, but I can't believe it's something so beautiful turned out looking like that. All right, everybody, make sure and leave a comment on which one of these squishy toys was your favorite that we cut up today and what else you would like to see me do in another video. And be sure and tap on my logo right there. That way you will never miss another video right when it comes out. And you can tap on a video right over here you may have never seen before. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye, squishy fans.